Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's October 8th, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Detroit judge is ordering incriminating records to be destroyed. The order was entered yesterday in the defamation lawsuit brought by Father Edward Perrone, who accuses Monsignor Michael Bugarin of fabricating a sodomy charge against him. Confidential records that form the basis of the lawsuit and prove Bugarin's defamation are now being ordered to be destroyed. Perrone's attorneys plan on fighting the order. The Chicago Archdiocese is discouraging a rosary rally. Chicago's interim Episcopal vicar, Father Vincent Costello, sent an email to parishes urging them not to publicize an October 7th prayer rally that included the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, the Rosary, and Mass. Costello falsely accused the event of being partisan when nowhere on the flyer does it state support for any political candidate. Russia's president is extolling the Democratic Party's values. Yesterday, Vladimir Putin praised the ideological similarities between Joe Biden's Democrats and the Soviet Communist Party that he was a member of for 18 years. The Russian leader also says he's looking for common ground with Biden, lauding his support for arms reduction treaties. In related news, Biden is vowing to enforce a national mask mandate if he's elected. A tweet yesterday reads, as president, I will implement nationwide mask mandates, among other things. This in spite of the fact that legal scholars have said a federal mask mandate would be unconstitutional. The Centers for Disease Control says the virus has a survival rate of more than 99%. Meanwhile, favorability for China's communist president is tanking. A Pew Research poll released Tuesday surveyed 14 countries and showed an average of 78% say they either have not too much or no confidence in President Xi Jinping to do the right thing on world affairs. That's up more than 16% from last year. Experts link the decrease in favorability to China's cover-up and mishandling of the pandemic. A new documentary is exposing gender ideology. Produced by father-son team Richard and Stephen Payne, the film, titled Gender Agenda, aired last night on EWTN. It explores the Marxist roots of today's gender identity movement and its links to the sexual revolution. The film is a sequel to A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, exposing radical leftist activist Saul Alinsky. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael offers more political and Catholic commentary and news. God bless you.